We are Fandom Roulette. Two nerds with a passion for history, video games, tabletop games, and, well, really any nerdy stuff that comes into our lives. While we might not be able to name every ship classification in Star Wars, or every Pokemon, or every spell in the player's handbook, well, one of us can. We're still here to have a good time. Hey everyone, welcome to the Phantom Roulette mini-sode. This is Joe. And I'm Cody. And on Phantom Roulette, we usually talk about a myriad of nerdy things, including history, video games, and tabletop RPGs. But uh, in our breaks, we like to record little mini-sodes, just give you uh, a the whistle about uh, things we're going to be doing in the future. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, first off, we're going to get a little bit of housekeeping out of the way right away. Right. Um, so, uh, we love recording the show for you guys. This is uh, so much fun for us to do. Um, but we are going to do a little bit of a change. Uh, <gasps> Cody, I know, right? Would you like to tell us what the change is? Yeah. Um, so, as we've been doing this as a weekly podcast, um, we are finding ourselves... Uh, burning out a little on certain uh topics or not having enough time to really get like real dirty real nasty with particular topics so with that said we have discussed this and we're not going away nope or uh you know canceling phantom roulette that's not you know that's not the that's not our way but we are switching to a bi-weekly uh podcast we're gonna be every other week so that we have time because we're doing so many different topics and you know so many aspects of of nerdum it takes more time for yeah. us to at like have like fun and interesting conversations about them sure. and not having a whole lot of time to do that in, during the week cuz we're you know, and, and maybe someday we'll come back to the weekly thing when this becomes like our main gig yeah but for now we're going to switch to biweekly so it'll give some of you who have been uh, uh, struggling to keep up with all the content. It'll give you uh, it'll give you guys a little bit of time a, a, to a buffer. Yeah, a buffer to catch up and enjoy, uh, you know, the biweekly stuff. But um, but yeah, that's really it. It's not like yeah. super crazy news. Uh, you'll a little bit less of us, but um, I think it'll in the long run be better content, which is for sure ultimately what we want to make. Yeah, uh, for sure. It gives us a little bit more time to think about things, ruminate on them, do a little bit you know, deeper research, all things that ultimately give us a better product for you guys in the end. That's that's what we're here for. So, Yeah, uh, so... Now we uh, want to get into talking about... Uh, so what are we going to be doing in the new season? Yeah, season that four. A, that was a really roundabout gross way of saying it. Uh, <laughs> so I'll, I'll start with the history section. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm, I'll probably come up with a fancy way of or a fancy name for it or whatever. Sure. But, uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, the future in the eyes of the past. <gasps> so yeah, so it's going to be involving uh, looking at um, short stories, uh, maybe like movies, television programs, uh, things in the past that were future looking. Um, because you know, it, I think it informs us about interesting things, uh, from their time period, as well as what they saw or what they had hoped the future would be. So th- yeah. we're talking things like Jules Verne. Um, we're talking things like Ray Bradbury, uh, you know, maybe television programs like Star Trek or the Twilight Zone. Um, Ooh, are you going to talk yeah. about Fallout? Maybe Fallout. Yeah. Because um, that's technically a future, uh, <laughs> someone's thoughts on the future. For sure. Although or, they're, they're definitely grim and dark. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, we could even look at things like, you know, comic books. Yeah. Um, all, you know, science fiction uh, obviously is a forward looking thing, but uh, you'd be remiss to not look at the time in which it was also created. Of course. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So that's going to be me. We're going to be looking at uh the the future in terms of the past so so for the video game section uh we briefly talked about it in our last episode but um 
we're going to I'm going to repeat it again. Uh, we're going to take a break from actual video games and do video game movies because <gasps> I'm the so bar excited. is I know the bar is so fucking low and we can, you know, it'll give us time to really talk about like what the video game means to us and then what this fucking garbage pile of a movie is. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to do video game movies for this next se- section. Yeah, me too. This is going to be great. Yeah, um, we're still going to do Garbage Kid. Garbage Kid won't go away. Don't worry about that. Yep. And then Ooh. our role-playing game section, we're going to talk about magic. Yeah. Um, we we took a broad scope, but we have some ideas of, um, you know, maybe talk about magic mechanics, different schools of magic from, like, you know, the D- Dungeons and Dragons and Skyrim and all those, like, different, like, fancy words and what that means. Uh, we got yeah. a couple of world building episodes that we're thinking about, but we won't spoil those right sure. now. Um, we're going to compare and contrast like, you know, different types of magic and like how magic works in different settings because D and D isn't the only setting that uses it's magic. True. Uh, we've yeah. got, you know, old books that we can, uh, go back to that do magic totally differently. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then of course, one of those episodes is definitely going to be better know your class and, yes. uh, probably, I don't know. I'm maybe wizard warlock. warlock we haven't decided yeah. yet. A, a pure magic class, maybe sorcerer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, and then uh, one last thing, uh, and yes. this is one that I think we're we're both pretty excited about. Uh, yes, we're probably going to do a um, numbers of parts to be determined. Uh, maybe one plus episode about uh end game and kind of the marvel cinematic universe in general yeah uh, so a maybe like a little retrospective of the films that had come before uh a big old chunk talking about the end game uh and then our thoughts about where we're gonna go from here so um we've already been given maybe like a little taste um did you see yeah. the the far from home trailer no, I haven't seen the new Far From Home. I'm I'm actually like nervous because they spoiled a lot in the first one. Oh yeah. And yeah so yeah. I don't want them to spoil more shit. I want like I'm bummed that I know who the villain is right now. Oh, but I'm so excited. Uh, I am <laughs> really excited. Uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, it's just gonna we're doing we're gonna be talking uh Marvel the MCU, um, where we kind of go from here and and you know maybe our thoughts going forward about it. So yeah. Um, yeah, uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, we'll see you in what, two weeks, something like that. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be two weeks when we get back into the swing of things and then we'll see you on a biweekly schedule. Yeah. Um, please, uh, check us out on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google play and Spotify, um, on those sites where there are ranking systems, please rate, review, subscribe, uh, tell a friend, Tweet at us, follow us on Facebook, uh, email us at our email, which is fanroulettepodcast at gmail.com. One of these days I'm going to remember it. Uh, Yeah, and also make sure to check out the website at www.fandomroulette.com because it's got all of our social links, it's got bios, it's got all of our episodes, so if you're ever, like, looking to show somebody, like, hey... He, you know, listen. You, you gotta listen like. to this. Yeah, uh, yeah. That is an easy way for them to uh, get up to speed. So yeah, uh, thanks for listening. We'll see you uh, in a couple of weeks, and uh, I guess signing off, right? Yeah, yeah. This is Joe, and I'm Cody, and as always, stay nerdy, stay super nerdy. Stay super nerdy.